Good evening, Charlotte. My fellow delegates from Massachusetts back there, up front here. You now, Massachusetts takes over everything, let me just tell you. Good evening, fellow Democrats and fellow Americans. I come from Boston. We launched a revolution. We first sent John Kennedy to Congress. There were millions of students who have come to study, including a great American name, Martin Luther King, Jr. So it's an honor to be here tonight with so many people determined to move our country forward. I know all Americans are proud to carry the torch of progress. And in Boston, we take that job very seriously. Mitt Romney, he may come from Boston, but his campaign values aren't Boston values. Because in Boston, we know this country didn't become great by excluding folks and leaving each other on their own. In Boston, you know what we call immigrants? Mom and Dad. You know what we call same-sex couples? Our friends, our brothers, and our sisters. In Boston, we know government isn't the answer or the enemy. It's our partner. In Boston, like many cities across this country, we see in progress all around us today. In large part, it's because this president, this administration, gave ordinary people a leg up. Construction jobs supported by Recovery Act dollars. Better schools pushed by the President's education reform. Growing hospitals and health centers. And booming life science companies born from national research support. So today, we stand with President Obama and his plan to lead us forward. Now, Mitt Romney might be a nice guy. As the mayor of Boston, I worked with him when he was governor. Much of the time, we worked sometimes together pretty well. But he made a lot of decisions that were bad for our state. And now he wants to carry those wrong-headed policies to the rest of our country. Mitt Romney, Romney spends a lot of time in this campaign talking about the business experience, but how, if elected, he will create lots of jobs. I've been thinking about this pitch. It sounds so familiar. You know why? Because the same thing he said when he ran for governor of Massachusetts. He promised to bring business to the state. But when he was in office, Massachusetts was 47th out of all 50 states in our country in job creation. There's a reason for that, folks. Because Governor Romney cut education. He cut workforce training. He disguised his tax hikes as fees. He still exploded our long-term debt by $2.6 billion. Mitt likes the business speak. Think of me as a reference check. In Massachusetts, Mitt Romney had the one job in his life that's closest to being president. And he wasn't all that good at that. <laughs> Mitt Romney talked last week about broken promises. Well, he would know 
Even worse, Governor Romney is now running away from the major accomplishments, a health care reform that he called a model for our country. I like Mitt Romney, but he's learned all the wrong lessons. And now he's doubling down on the, all the wrong plans. His campaign is based in Boston, a city moving forward, but his ideas would set our country back. Up in Boston, we have a plaque that says, Paul Revere started a ride, which in a way has never ended. That's true about our country too. In every generation, the American people have taken up that ride, pushing the United States forward. We've never gone back. So today we have a clear choice to make. Will we move forward together? Or will we go back to the tricks, trickle-down philosophies that Mitt Romney believes in? The, the choice is clear. It's time to keep moving forward. It's time to re-elect Barack Obama as President of the United States. Thank you, Charlotte, and have a great night.